Well, since the first Mila video went so well, I figure why not make another one? I've got another purifier that I got actually for free this time because it's so noisy. And you can hear it, although the sensor fan inside is working and it's nice and quiet, the main blower assembly has really bad bearings. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna rip this one apart and I've actually got two others with good blower assemblies, but bad power supplies. And I'll have to go over the power supply at some point as well, as it seems like these all have a fatal flaw where the common mode choke fails and it blows out the fuse on the main board. Great. And I'm electing to kill this one because there's a few reasons, but as you can tell, my contractor back in 2021 didn't care a whole lot about my purifier. So I don't know what's even in this filter, but judging by the state of the purifier, I don't know. I do, however, know that the blower assembly in this is good. So I'm gonna take it apart, probably get rid of pretty much everything else. Uh, the board is dead. But, <laughs> let's rip it apart and see what we got. So first things first, you take off all these perimeter screws here. And you're gonna lift up around the actual power assembly there. We're gonna have to take off the outer two wires. And next up, take off pretty much everything you can see, but specifically the perimeters. Uh, we're gonna need those to free up the rest of these side pieces. Apologize for the noise, I had to fire up another Mila just to keep the air a little bit cleaner, but once you got those out, you get enough wiggle room where you can pull these pieces out the side and then up. So you can see I've got both the side pieces here and the rear piece there. And here's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the machine. The main board is in here. And like I said, this is a good blower assembly, so I'm going to separate all of the cabling from this from this, and I'm going to try to separate the blower assembly from the top piece as well, as the top piece is all covered in schmoo on this. But this one rotates really, really nice. So here we have the board assembly. I'm guessing our common mode choke is probably bad as well here. I actually don't see anything super crazy there, uh, but let's check the fuse and see if that's popped. I don't know. I wish I knew a little bit more about these boards. The fuse is actually good on this unit. So I don't know what the heck is going on. When I powered up though, no life at all, except for this little fan and the air quality sensor spins. So I'm not sure what we have faulty over there, but it's gotta be voltage supply. I would give this thing a very, very low repairability score personally. But if you're ever wondering about the uh, part, there it is, 310 volt brushless motor. And this one is good, even though it's disgusting looking, so might just save this for a rainy day. Um, but I have other units with clean tops, and I'm just trying to make one good one at this point. And this is the unit that actually used to be in my office, so this is the one I'm going to try to fix with the board out of that unit. Which actually means we're going to dick apart that one first, because that one is a good board. So we're now inside the unit with the noisy motor and you can hear it. That is definitely a defective unit. Worth saying, they have a different color cabling in here and I'm really curious to see if there's a different board revision because it almost looks like this is made by a different company now. Interesting. No, it sure looks the same, but in the interest of helping people in the future, Let's take a look at these part numbers. Come on. There we go. Oh, look at that. Version 2.3. Mm hmm. It does have a slightly different suppression choke. It has a bigger transformer. Oh, interesting, look at this. It doesn't have either of those two little logic gates and it has a MOSFET down here. That's a pretty significant deviation. Wow, there's definitely some variation here. Same exact model and the fan is junk. This was a refurb, so 
I don't know. I'm just going to pull this junk off just in case, but I don't know, guys. These things are seemingly down to the board, the main board. Okay, it's back together with the newer revision board and the older everything else. There was one header on the main board, which was a four pin sensor board that I don't have. So let me fire this thing up. Please. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? Well, straight up didn't work and I don't know why. Yay. Uh, so apparently the displays are not compatible at all. But it does seem like it's working otherwise. So I've got the Hall Effect duped right now. Which means I'm going to have to take this all the way apart. But at least I'll have one working Mila out of this, which is just ridiculous. So the old one's a 1 1.5.5, looks like that, black cable. The new one is a 2.2 white cable, but I'm going to see if the cable's at least compatible. Oh, man. Okay, good. Well, at least that works. Well, here's my finished machine. This is my old version 1.5 bedroom Mila, and it's got my coworker's old board in it. So far, so good. I do have a filter in it. I have all the sensors hooked up, I think. Let's see if it still says, oh no, you forgot a filter. I also don't know if the capacitive touch buttons will ever work again, which may be a problem. Holy cow, I did it. And the buttons even work. Amazing, I've made one good Mila from four. I love this product, but this thing kind of sucks. So make sure you get a really, really long warranty if you buy one. Anyway, thanks for following along. This has been a weird video, but uh, hopefully at least interesting. If you have one of these things, you can start to understand just how many revisions there were along with me. But I'm going to get this thing set up on my app and brought back into the useful part of my house.